Welcome to another episode of the DJ Podcast. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Cruise Playlist feature inside of Tractor Pro 2. Now the first thing that you'll notice is that on my tracks I have special cue points. And these are for fade in and out. You can see that they're indicated by the little flags that point to either direction. This flag here with the flag on the left side is a fade in cue point. And this flag here with the flag on the right is a fade out cue point. If you have a cue point set to fade out, when it hits that point, it will start playing the next track from the fade in point on that next track. Let's open up the settings because there's a few things we need to do in there before we can actually start to use the feature. So we'll just open up our preferences. And first we're going to go to the loading tab of the preferences. In here, you want to make sure that you have activate fade in and fade out markers selected. You can also enable the cruise loops playlist option if you'd like to have the cruise loop through your playlist after it's reached the end of the playlist. So now we've set up Tractor to pretty much go through the motions, but if you want to finesse it a little bit, you're going to want to go down to your mixer settings, and you see that we have a crossfader section here, and there's the option for auto crossfade time. By setting this value, you're setting the amount of time that Tractor fades between the two tracks. By having it set to 12 seconds, the crossfade between track A and B will last for 12 seconds. So now that we have all of our settings configured correctly, you can see that I've sort of gone ahead and set up a typical scenario where you might want to use this feature. We have one track here on the left that's almost up to the fade out cue point. Its volume is all the way up. We also have a second track here in the right deck. It's set to the beginning, but it doesn't actually matter where in the track it is once we start the cruise feature. And you can see that we have the fader all the way down on this track. You can also see that we have both tracks set to sync, and that's very important, especially when you're trying to have the tracks crossfade evenly, you want them synced up and beat matched automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this track and I'm going to hit this button up here that looks like a circle with three triangles on the bottom. That's the cruise enable button. And you'll see that the next track will start fading in when it hits this cue point here and that the faders will automatically cross fade between the two tracks. So let's check out how this works. Okay, so you can see how we've crossfaded into this right track here, and now we have a new track that will come up on our first deck. 